a good day everyone and uh, uh, welcome to my youtube channel pain free partha please subscribe share this youtube channel pain free partha thank you very much we will go to this today's topic proper fall some tips whenever i think i talk anything on academics i put a big salute to the legendary teacher of two centuries Professor Ravi Shankar, who is currently the e -direct, director of e-learning of Mahatma Gandhi Medical College and Research Institute, Pondicherry. So when you go to the history of proper fall, it was discovered in 1970, but still they found out the hypnotic use in 1977 and it became popular in 1986. It was insoluble and they added crema for EL for making it soluble and this was the cause of anaphylactic reactions so the progress slightly became stagnant then this deprivan or 2,6 disopropyl phenol came this is propofol 10 milligram per ml i am very clear 10 milligram per ml is equal to one person propofol was reintroduced as an egg lecithin emulsion formulation consisting of soybean oil, glycerol, egg phosphatide and EDTA as bacteriostatic. Now you see there is no crema for EL which has got anaphylactic properties. They came with egg lecithin emulsion formulation which also added soybean, glycerol, egg phosphatide and EDTA as bacteriostatic. See here you can see this is a phenol benzyl group plus OH. Now we have what is this isopropyl two isopropyl groups this is what is called proper form soya bean why should they add so many things egg lecithin emulsion soya bean oil glycerol edt all these things soya bean oil holds the bulk of proper form in a medium that can be stabilized and the lecithin serves as an emulsifier to Stabilize the small propofol soya bean droplets in aqueous dispersion. We have to have aqueous dispersion. We cannot have fatty disperse to give IV or oil droplets to give IV. We need to have aqueous dispersion. So we need lecithin as an emulsifier. We need soya bean oil to hold the bulk. Now we get glycerol maintains the formulation isotonic with blood that is very important we need to have isotonic with blood then we have we need to have what is edta as bacteriostatic we are some other formulation that is lower lipid formulation of propofol ampofol free fraction of propofol increased to pain with injections what is aquavan this is fast propofol this is a pro drug rapidly hydrolyzed plasma alkaline phosphatase to release free propofol we will discuss at the end again about fast propofol it has a slower onset it is a transient it has been reported as perennial region following iv itching and all so there is something called bisulfite containing propofol there are nanoparticle induced propofol all these have come up in 2004 but that nothing is market hit only the original propofol is marketed. Egg lecithin can cause iatrogenic sepsis. That is why they add EDTA or benzyl alcohol as a bacteriocidal preservative. Propofol undergoes dimerization and oxidation to a quinone when exposed to oxygen. See, open the propofol and keep it like that. It will change into yellow color. So this is not good so it undergoes dimerization and oxidation in an open to atmosphere maximum of six hours now we know why they are added like it is an egg lecithin formulation they add soya bean oil they add glycerol decade they add edta as a bacteriostatic for each purpose and it is produced as a 10 milligram per ml or a one person solution. Rarely there are two person solutions and 0.5 percent solutions are available for pediatric use. They are only available in specialist pediatric anesthesia institutions. 
sodium salt to be diluted in water or sign to create 1% solution, a pH of 7 to 8.4, the pK of 11, 50 ml disposable syringe already preloaded propofol are also available. Highly low pit soluble because it needs to target the brain. 98% protein bound. Redistribution is 3 to 5 minutes. See the half life is 4 to 6 hours. Again, go back. It is a selective modulator of GABA and TARS. Transmembrate chloride conductions increases, something like barbiturates. Hyperpolarization of a postsynaptic membrane. Functional inhibition of postsynaptic neuron. Something like barbiturates. But there is also some glutamate addition. So this is now unlike ketamine, which is an NMDA antagonist. Again, this propofol goes back again to thioaction of GABA. IV boluses of propofol, the plasma level initially declines rapidly due to redistribution from highly perfused to lower capacity tissues. Lower such as muscle, liver, spleen in five minutes. So it is a little clear-headed recovery than thiopentone. So it is used more in outpatients. So the induction dose is 1 to 2 mg per kg and some books say 2 to 3 mg per kg. So if a good, well premedicated patient, 1 to 1.5 may be enough. Sedation, 25 to 100 mics per kg per minute. Maintenance IV, 50 to 100, 200 mics per kg per minute. So 200 mics per kg per minute, that is what we should understand. Up to 100, you just think 100 is okay here. Sedation this side, maintenance that side. No other route has been described. For example, ketamine, we have so many routes. Propofol, only IV. The propofol blood concentration at which 50% or 95% of the patient did not respond. CP50 and CP95 respectively. So this is CP50 is 3 mics per ml with sedatives and opioid skin incision and 16 mics per ml or sedation is 1.6 mics per ml. So this is the proper fall concentration at which 50% of the patient did not respond to verbal commands. There is something people used to describe CP50I that is very classically as incision. Some routine CP50 is a verbal command. There are some confusion about this. So we take it as granted that CP50 is CP50I that is incision and that is around 3 mics per ml should be the blood concentration at which 50% of the patients will not respond to skin incision. Some say CP50 as verbal command and they propound the fact that it is CP50I is called incision. Propofol is rapidly metabolized by the liver to conjugation to produce inactive water soluble glucuronide and sulfate compounds which are excreted by the kidneys. So, in patients with obstructive jaundice, see here, propofol pharmacokinetics does not change. Extrahepatic metabolism also, that is the importance of propofol. Even in obstructive jaundice, the kinetics don't change much. Hyperdynamic circulation and renal failure patients with anemia. So, that is why we need higher doses in renal failure. It is not due to kidney, it is due to renal failure producing anemia producing hypodynamic separation that cause a necessity for an increased dose of propofol. Propofol is twice likely as a tomidine to evoke hypotension. E patients with severe AS, that is very important. A tomidine transiently decreases post-operative serum cortisol, but this is more important. Thio action is same, but some differences are there. You can see here sedation, hypnosis, anesthesia, anticonvulsion, decrease ICP, decrease CMR. All these things are there with Thio. But MAP production, less antanalgesia. Thiopentone is anti analgesic, but the propofol is not so. Less nausea, vomiting, probably T2 receptors. Less spasm, less. Uh, more preservation of airway reflexes. Supraglottic device is better. 
So all these things are subtle differences between propofol and thioprednol, even though the overall things are similar. Myoclonical jets, subcortical inhibit reactions, antagonism by propofol. So myoclonic jets are possible. All these things slightly are different from thioprednol. Amnesia is better. Anesthetic possessing neuroprotective effects. There are a lot of articles which have come up that it doesn't mean that thio only is a neuroprotective surgeons. Yes, they have found out neuroprotective effect with proper forms. When to stop? You know, eyelash reflex hair yes, stops in thioprene. But here, sometimes it may be apnea. Sometimes it may be yawning. Sometimes it may be loss of verbal cant. So the clear cut end point is not very clearly mentioned when regard to propofol. Propofol has been proposed as an excellent preoperative anxiolysis when administered even through patient controlled anxiolysis. Patient control means you'll press as anxiety release as a replacement for benzodiazepines to shorten the discharge times. Use slight dose of propofol for anxiolysis because even if you give diazepam, Slightly, the discharge time may be prolonged. The feeling of the big sedation may be there in patients. The exact mechanisms is not known, probably related to serotonins in the hippocampus or nitric oxide in the hypothalamus may be involved. This 5-HT. Dose dependent decrease in ventilatory drive, decreased tidal volume and ventilation, and increased PEO2. Depressed protective reflexes and apnea is more common. That is why supraglottic reflexes are more commonly inserted with propofol than with thioprednol. Vasodilatation, both decreased and preload and afterload. There is no much of tachycardia. This is what is the difference. We can see thioprednol and propofol. Propofol produces more BP fall. And here, it also, vasodilatation is more with propofol. That is accepted. But the tachycardic response of thiopentone is not there with propofol. That is why we expect a more BP fall in patients who have gone given propofol. It is transient and insignificant. Cardiac contractility is maintained. So is there a role of ischemic reperfusion injury prevention after cardiopulmonary bypass with propofol is being investigated. Now we know what is the problem with the respiratory system. Now we know what is the problem with CNS and how is it different from thiopentone. Now we know about respiratory system where apnea is more common, preservation of protective reflex is more common. Then we will go to the other systems. Decreases renal blood flow, increased secretion of ADH. There is one interesting thing is reverses the HS of epidural morphine. It is okay in porphyria. It is okay in malignant thermia, hyperthermia. Like thiopentone, it does not have any effect on vacuronium. It does not affect steroid synthesis. It does not affect renal or hepatic function. It does not affect coagulation. All these things are special. You know what is context sensitive half time? It describes the time required for the central compartment to fall by half as a function of duration of infusion. Again, I will come back in a different thing in this. I will touch this now. Now we have given one hour of propofol as an infusion. You stop after one hour. Now, how much time does it take for the drug propofol blood concentration to become half? That is what is called as the context sensitive half. Now, if it is two hours, it is different. If your infusion is five hours and stop, after how much time does the propofol concentration comes down by half? This is what is called CSHD. 11 minutes plus four, plus four, plus four for every hour, one hour. For example, if you give one hour propofol infusion and stop, in next 11 minutes, in 71 minutes, the blood concentration will be half. This is what is called a context sensitive half time. Now you see the propofol is here, fentanyl is here, 
after three hour, one hour, two hours. You see here, the CHD in minutes. The patient's age, body weight, and the effect site concentration are entered, and the pumps delivers a propofol bolus by a variable rate infusion. This is adjusted by predicted loss of distribution and elimination in order to maintain a constant propofol concentration. This is what is unique as TCI, target controlled infusion. Now, we have a TCI pump. Now, you set the height, weight, desired blood concentration. I want the brain blood concentration, brain concentration to be 1.5 mics per ml for sedation. Yes, set it and start. It will give a propofol dolus, bolus and it will adjust according to the distribution to maintain the brain concentration of 1.6 mics per ml. This is what is called target controlled infusion pumps. Propofol infusion is known to cause green skin and urine discoloration caused by production of phenol green chromophore. So urinary usic acid secretion is increased. So sometimes the urine will be cloudy. Sometimes the urine will be green after propofol. Don't worry about it. Propofol may be mixed with preservative free lignocaine in a ratio of 20 is to 1.5 percent. If at 10 ml, if you take 0.5 ml of 0.5 percent lignocaine, you have to take 20 is to 1. 20 ml, 1 ml. 10 ml, 0.5 ml. 10 ml of propofol, 0.5 ml of 0.5 percent lignocaine. If you add up and this, we can use it. There are a lot of drugs. Duralac, opioids, ketamine have been used to decrease what? Pain on injection, which is supposed to be around 60 percent with propofol. That is a major drawback with propofol. Free propofol may exert its painful effect by stimulating the calicrean canyon system. It so in inside the vessel it stimulates the calicrean system, kinin system, production of bradykinins, and it stimulates intravascular nociceptors. Administration of nafomastat, an inhibitor of calicrean before propofol injection, has significantly decreased the incidence and severity of pain. So, what is this nafomastat? Where is it available? You see here in India, mark nafomastat mesylate is available. The role of pediatric anesthesia is more controversial. It's not approved for two to three years of sedation. So many things are there in pediatrics. Proper false sedation was blamed for deaths in several children. All these things happen. But see, there are a lot of studies have come. Is proper fall safe for? Yes. Proper fall based sedation regimens for infants and children. From pediatric anesthesia and remain two years following craniofacial anomalies. So many articles have come, so many evidence have come to say, yes, it is okay for children whenever you need it. Intervenous propofol allows faster intubations in neonates and young infants in 2019. So there is another question called propofol infusion syndrome. In pediatric and adult patients, both prolonged high dose infusion, that is 75 mics per kg per minute, more than that, for more than 48 hours, then there is a chance. Unexpected refractory bradycardia. If the rate is 45, 50, 55, if you are tripping, it is coming up slightly, going down. All these things, this you call as, as refractory bradycardia. Then you think. Your proper fall is going more than 75 mics per kg per minute. Think about your lactic acidosis. And treatment should be prompt. A laboratory evaluation of lactic acidosis should be done. Cardiac failure including pulmonary widening of the QRS complex, bradycardia, sometimes VFB system. Acute kidney injury, change in color. Hypotension, rhabdomyolysis producing this change in urine color. Metabolic acidosis, yes. If you see a refractory bradycardia, if you see an acidosis probably associated with urine color change and hypotension, yes, maybe propofol infusion syndrome, but it is not that common because 
it is not that commonly used in routine anesthetic practice. So much infusion for so many hours has not is not being used in current routine anesthetic practice. Acidosis associated high lactate, high triglycerides, lipemic plasma, rhabdomyolysis, lipemic plasma, three days after usually. A measurement of arterial blood gases and serum lactate concentration. You get an acidosis with the lactates. Reversible with discontinuations. Mechanism unclear but may reflect a cytopathic hypoxia. There is a problem in the electron transport chain. There is an acidosis. It is actually present in uniquely susceptible patients. A cytopathic hypoxia. Yes, differential acidosis, hyperchloremic acidosis due to large volume of saline and sometimes due to diabetic keto acidosis and release of a tourniquet. Yes, very important. Metabolic acidosis, release of a tourniquet. Suspicion and monitoring of lactate and creatine kinase, stop propofol, GI infusions, inotropes, hemofiltration. Still, you can see 18 to 20 percent mortality with propofol infusion syndrome, which is established. What are the contraindications? Almost nil, no? They say between eggs and egg products, soya beans, all these things, allergy means it is contraindicated. But still, no evidence for contraindications to the use of propofol in 2016 BJ article. Propofol in pregnancy, there are some reservations. This is what is the most important thing. Propofol in pregnancy. Some reservations, it causes placenta and cause, cause problems. Grade C approval by the manufacturer. Some has proven safety, but only we can use when benefits outweigh us. Yes, thiopentone, yes, to be first choice. Then propofol as next choice, whenever you think it has its own benefits, then you are causing a placenta and other problems. It's also fast and extensive with venous blood concentration. See, Due to clearance from neonatal circulation, this is what is more important. Short-lived, whatever is effects on unborn neonates, they are very short-lived. So, these are controversies about safeties in pregnancy. And with this, and he died due to propofol. First propofol, yes, we have told so many things about propofol. It is a Isopropyl, diisopropyl phenol, benzene, one hydroxyl group is there. Then this is the chemistry. Previously, they started with um, climafol and then switched over to eglacetin and phosphatides and glycerol and EDTA. And then it's one person emulsion. It is used for anesthesia in one to two milligram per kg. We can use it as an infusion. 25 to 100 mics per kg per minute and if you use more than 75 mics per kg per minute for more than 48 hours then you can think of your propofol infusion syndrome propofol is query in pregnancy is query in patients is less than two years all otherwise it's fine it is its slight difference between thiopentone and yes we will come back later now, fast propofol is a water-soluble prodrug. It is metabolized by alkaline phosphatases in the endothelial cells. If you give here, the endothelial cells itself will metabolize this fast propofol and make it as propofol. So, that is the advantage of fast propofol. So, you have to give higher dose. 6.5 mg per kg. Because it has to be, it's a prodrug. It has to be metabolized by your intravascular or endothelial alkaline phosphatases. It will take time to act. Yes, these phosphatases has to break down this phosphopropofol to make it as propofol and act. So it will take five to six minutes to act. Phosphopropofol is ideal for procedural sedation and endoscopies. It, it sometimes you can start with fentanyl 1 mg per kg followed by fast propofol where sometimes your CNS respiratory serious actions of propofol will be there. It's not recommended for labor, cesarean sections. If you want routine anesthesia, you should not use. 
because it takes five minutes. Patients less than 18 years as if safety is not established. Less painful, but cough and paresthesia may come. So here, egg lecithin, this is not there with this water soluble. There is no such contraindication, no such risk, but it is a delayed effect. That is a major problem with phosphorylation. So now you see, I started with propofol tips. See, myoclonic jerks, pain on injection, apnea, reflexes are slightly preserved, hypotension is more because the tachycardic response with thiopentone is not there. In infants and pregnancy, beware. There is no antenal GCI, there is no bronchospasm. Yes, we can use it as an inclusion. Context sensitive half life is very less, 11 plus 4 plus 4. So it can be used for ICU sedations. Recovery is more clear headed. Yes, we can use it in porphyrias. PONV is an important advantage. It is anti itching if you have itching with what is the drug? Epidural marfans. So this is about the summary. Yes, subscribe to my channel and you can also see the slides in my website painfreeparta.com. Thank you all.